Yeah, thanks uh, for inviting us to yeah. Telthorpe Manor, yeah, Peter. There, yeah. It's the uh, no first time ever for me, so yeah. it's another East Yorkshire gem. And whereabouts in, we're, we, I know we're in East Yorkshire, we're obviously in these deep gills again, and uh, we're not far off uh, two famous shoots, uh, Water Priory That's and right, yeah. Raythorpe Manor's not far away yeah. from here. You are a very, very keen conservationist. Yeah. And uh, later on, uh, you're going to show me and Jonathan uh, yeah, we're going to show you some, uh, young some young plantations, yeah. what you put down for to protect the wildlife, yeah. you know, and uh, protect the flora and fauna. Yeah. And that's really what it's all about, about having a, a, a nice day out, but also thinking about, you know, the wildlife and the flora and fauna of this country mm. and, uh, and, and how much the shooting fraternity helps it. Yeah. Well, it's uh, the rain start at Peter on the first drive. Yeah, typical, yeah. yeah. What uh, what do they call this drive? It's uh, gravel pits. Gravel pits. Well, I'm a, I'm the end gun number one, uh, and as Peter's uh, the description is gave to me over the drive, uh, they'll be working the drive from number eight down to number one, and uh, we we should see some birds uh, uh, in the next. Uh, 10 or 15 minutes, something like that. They've just started pushing them through now. We're at back end of the season, it's January. And uh, as I say, they're a bit skitty. They'll be, they'll be running about all over today. Exactly, to exactly. Keep on our tails, don't es we? Trying to escape. Yeah. <laughs> Right it's not a massive commercial shoot, but they've got some nice birds on. Yeah. Thank you. 
They'll come off the top of there and they'll go off. They'll go out so far, and some will go straight across them. And most of them will go out so far, and then all of a sudden, woof. And they'll go fast, it'll fast in again. Industry, exactly, yeah. They're working from uh, they're working from that far end. From number eight gun, obviously. Yep. They'll bring it about halfway and then they'll do the same at this end. The same format bringing it. Bring it about yeah. halfway from this other end, yeah. And where, where's the, where's your pushing point here? Well I'll just, I'll just to your yeah. left I'd say. Yeah. And hopefully uh, I've got a good spread right over the line. He's down the line now and there's some fantastic pheasants going over. It's nice to see you've got a fair amount of birds left, Peter. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're 9th of January. Uh, season's ended for a lot of estates, but for a, a, a non commercial show, it's, uh, it's a fantastic showing. I me, mean, Jonathan, I'm enjoying this little day. It's, I mean, they've still got a really showing of birds. And uh, the wind uh, got up, it's nice and wild, and, and the birds are flying wild as well. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. All right. It was only a short drive, but there were some nice birds amongst it. Absolutely, there's some fantastic shooting down there. Absolutely unbelievable. So they were too good for them. But there were some fantastic birds come over them down there. Absolutely fantastic. Well, you could have shot that partridge 10 seconds later and it would have landed right on Lundy's toes. <laughs> <laughs> These bloody big hooded coats, everything gets tangled up when you pull on the bird. And I'm single gunning, stuffing for myself. I've got no man to help me off with my coat because nobody had come with me today. And because I've got the man flow and they didn't want to get the man flow.
and we're on the fourth drive now uh, the pheasant pen looks like a nice sloping bank in that goes is, yeah. further and further away yeah. one of those sort of things that don't look a lot but it's it travels yeah, on for a fair thing, travels yeah, on right, for yeah. a fair bit up there doesn't it yeah and the game crop yeah. goes even further still yeah what game crops are you using this year? Yeah, uh, mixture of everything really. We've got yeah. kale, obviously, and maize, the two sort of most common ones. Yeah. And then uh, we've got a lot of uh, chicory that you can see behind you yeah. as well. It's sort of a good perennial crop, so it's yeah. cheap to sort of grow because it's just, you can yeah. top it, you know, late spring. Yeah. It'll just come, keep coming back every year and it's sort of good protection for yeah. the game that's yeah. know, at the end of the season and all the wildlife right the yeah. way through to sort of May time. Look at that, that's a good enough back there, look at that, blackbird. Oh, he's got that for a shot, yeah? Tom, I doubt. Yeah, okay, yeah, and I go at them, uh, them big long crosses. For example. I think it's a fantastic drive. It's gone better than I thought it were. We're going to go with that wind, how strong it is, but they are really curling. Difficult birds, not easy, and some fantastic partridge. No wrong with them, Peter, is there? No. Lovely birds. Yeah. That would have been a good one. <laughs> Did we get him? Go on, Thomas. Good lad. Tom. We got Tom. <laughs> we got we got we got, a, we got Tom Fortune as well, haven't we, yeah, Pete? Yeah, yeah. How long have you been coming here? Uh, about 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. You'll have seen it deal as it's gone along yeah, then. Definitely. Yeah, definitely been a, a lovely day and yeah. you can see these lads put some work into this. Well they do. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You don't get this without some work, do no. you? No. No. Yeah, there's passage. There's English then. You've got some English here, haven't you? Yeah. There's English here just past me. Just talking earlier about the cover crops, uh, Pete, and oh, well, yeah. uh, we've we've 
actually come to, to have a look at some. And um, this is the chicory. This is, a, is, is this a chicory? That's a chicory there. That's a chicory. That's behind us as well. Um, and that's fodder kale. That's fodder kale. And unfortunately, we, we won't set up with a camera, but uh, I did see two grey partridges uh, run past me down this little track. We've tried to uh, to uh, find them again, but uh, this is all about in trying to get the grey partridges in some numbers back on the shoes. It is definitely, you know, yeah. It's encouraging them more, gives them a bit more cover to nest in. Just provide cover right the way through the winter into all the way early through, spring. Yeah, all the way through the winter. It's you know, it's a it's fantastic what's uh, what's going off in uh, in the shooting world, and we've got to encourage this more and more. Definitely. You know, it's. it's it's not emptying people's pockets, you know, you've got to value the wildlife you've got around you and yeah. uh, and also we've got to leave a legacy for us, for the kids, you know, there's, there's a lot of people to come to come after us and we don't want them to, to be coming looking at deserts no. and I think if, if it wasn't for shooting, I think we'd have vast landscapes of just fields and nothing else. Yeah, exactly. but it's nice to come to and see a working farm, but a, also a, a, a shoot. Uh, not a commer not a, a, a big commercial shoot, just a, uh, a family shoot with a few let days, a little syndicate that puts the time and effort in like you've done here. And it's, it's, yep. I thank you for that, yeah, mate. It's no, absolutely welcome. fantastic. It's yep. been a brilliant day again. Yeah, please enjoy it. I can't thank you enough. Good. We've seen some lovely birds. Thank you.